ברוך השם, we can only thank Hashem, we should only thank Hashem for the great power that we sense and we feel that, uh, that we are able to maintain, that we're holding, that is the great treasure of our souls, that is well based in our body. And we are all amazing, amazing creations holding that spark of godliness within us and shining it while looking at things. Our souls are sending that beams of light out and spreading the goodness of our souls out to the world. When we're breathing, the air that is coming out from our lungs is full of life, is full of spiritual cargo and it's spreading in the world and it's healing the world and when we're talking the voice that is coming out is blend with our pure intention with the good intention of our hearts of our minds and all the talks and all the words that we ever said and spoke in our lifetimes are spreading that goodness of our pure heart and pure intention and it's going and hitting waves and creating great positive changes in the world and when we hear and when we sense and when we feel and when we think vibes of pure energy are spreading to the sides and blending with the universe cleansing and purifying and healing the whole world because of who we are, that we are pure representative of light, that we are the great messengers, the armies of Hashem, of the maker of the universe. And no matter who they think they are to stand in our way, to deny our goodness and our purity, our holiness and our kindness, the goodness that is treasured within the nature of our being, godly souls, children of Hashem, they will never be able to erase our true identity. Our goodness survived the Egyptians, the Amalekites, the, the Babylonians, the Persians, the, uh, the Romans, the Greeks, the Assyrians were surviving the Crusades, the Christians attacks, the Muslim attacks, all the, the, the political attacks, the Spanish Inquisition, the imaginary Palestinian nation, all the noise from all four wings of the universe that are trying to come and sabotage our good name of being a beautiful nation, of beautiful people, amazing, precious souls, direct descendants of the holy ancestors, Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, the children of Yaakov and his wives, the holy 12 tribes. We are their children and we are here and we're not going anywhere but to spread light and goodness and happiness among the sad and depressed nations. What can we do? You lost your opportunity when Hashem offered you to accept the Torah and you rejected it. And we, before even hearing and understanding what it's all about, we took it. And we said, Na seven ishma. we're going to keep whatever you're going to command us to. And when we did so, we accepted two crowns, crown in this world and crown of the world to come. And this is why in this world, we are the nation that spread the faith 
in the maker of the universe. And all the rest of the religions received their knowledge from us, even though that unfortunately they were not happy about receiving it from us and they are and they were always trying to erase us, piling our books in piles in the centers of their cities, burning piles of Jewish books, making gigantic bonfires, trying to burn all our synagogues, trying to burn our wives and our children to erase that there will be no Jewish name exist anymore putting us into the stoves, into the camps, into the fire, to the gas chambers. And from some hidden mysterious reason, we are not disappearing. Like mushrooms after the rain were popping up back again. Hundreds of thousands, millions of us are waking up to another morning, to a new morning. Every survivor from a gigantic family of thousands of people found himself alone and established a new house in Israel, in the US, in Europe again, building houses, getting married, bringing children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. And we have thousands and thousands and millions of holy souls that are keep on spreading wisdom and knowledge and good attributes and polite ways and spreading light. And unfortunately, the descendants of the enemies of our people that were enemies to our people from day first are still hating us in the commandment of their ancestors, the children of Esav that hates Yaakov, the children of Amalek that hates Yaakov, the children of all the ones that had that black bitterness instead of a soul, that black, dark, horrible, depressed, negative and awful shadow as a poor replacement for a soul, still hating us, still jealous, still don't know what to do with our goodness. We're not being digested to their felonies and crimes. We're not melting into their hatred and to their false blames. We keep on producing goodness and beauty and shine out to the world and they can't stand it. But what can we do? That our taste is sweet and our flavor is inspiring and our wisdom is endless and our inner connection is fantastic and endless and eternal and can never be turned off. We are the eternal flame of the universe and there's nothing to do. And you can call us in any name and you can make up stories with no end and to build theories and to blame us for, for false claims and to build new theories as if we are the scammers, the liars, the murderers of Christ, whatever you want. Listen, guys. He was also Jewish, by the way. You're going to try to take from us whatever you can. You Christian people, you're worshiping one of our brothers. You're going to say we executed him. Okay, yes, we did. And you're still worshiping him. You are worshiping and following the one we rejected. Don't you see that? Don't you see that you need to surrender to the wisdom? To the truth. Don't you see that you are taking your life from what that we left behind and this is your God, this is your idol, this is the one that you're worshiping? <sighs> Please wake up. Call your souls. Call for the truth. Have mercy on your souls, on your poor souls, and ask for the truth to come out. Ask that even though that you don't understand what the real truth is, that you want to see it. 
beg to the maker of the universe, tell him, listen, I had my theories, I had my thoughts, I had my understandings until now. Let me drop all my nonsense and please help me to find the real truth. Let me find your truth. Like King David said, not Daoud, David, David the king, not Daoud. Wake up, telling us, Muslims are telling us, Abraham was Muslim, Yitzchak was Muslim, <laughs> Yaakub was Muslim, the angel Jibril was Muslim. <laughs> Come on, guys, wake up. We're Jewish. <laughs> they were not Muslim, they were Jewish. King David, Nabi Daud. Come on, David HaMelech, he wrote the Sefer Tehillim. No, Nabi Daud. Suleiman, no, Shlomo. Guys, wake up. Your teachers, your ancestors, they took the Bible, they took the Oral Torah, and they worked very hard. In most cases, they were forcing Jewish people to translate it to your languages. And you try to com com compensate, confiscate the knowledge and to pretend as if it's yours. There is no angel that is called Jibril. There is an angel that is called Gavriel. There is no angel that is called Michael. There is an angel that is called Michael. And it's not in our language we call him Michael and you can call him Michael. No. He has a name that the maker of the universe gave him. And that name, you can find it in hidden ways, in amazing, deep, mysterious ways in the Bible, but not when it's translated to English or to Latin or to Arabic. Only when it's in Hebrew letters you can find the name Gavriel, Michael, Uriel, Nuriel, angels that are spreading light. We can tell you about that wisdom. We're not holding it back. Just that you need to understand that you need to, in a humble way, receive it from us. And it's going to be okay. And even if it's hard and you think and it sounds to your ears as if some of us are arrogant, I apologize for them. And if you suspect me in something, so I bless you not to because I'm a very nice person. I really haven't done anything wrong in the last, I think, uh, I don't know, 20 years or so. I'm a very kind person, very generous, very friendly. So join us and our team and Bezat Hashem with help from heaven. We're going to make this world a nicer, blooming, beautiful place for all nations to come back to admit the truth to surrender to the real kingship of Hashem that crowned King David to be the true Messiah and not your false theories. Please wake up. And if you're not awake, so please ask from your souls to wake up, to go out from that depression of yours and black bitterness and to find the truth and to be healed and may Hashem help us all to rise and shine and bloom united together as one and to bow to Hashem in the temple that will be called the house of prayer to all nations under the kingship of HaMelech David, not Nabi Daud. Okay? Be well.